Our next beans here, they're the Pacamara bean. They are quite a large bean. It's a hybrid bean. The first thing I'm going to do is I will take this, these green beans and put in the hopper up here. Pour them in and just get them all ready. And now we are going to turn on our solar roaster. I hope you can see this. Um, sometimes it's a little more difficult. We'll turn on the switch first. And right here, we have it set right now, if you can see it, it's at 1, 186. So I want to move it up a little bit more to 188. And I just push the little button down below. Let's see if you can see that. It may not focus right, but that's it. And it's always set, the start alarm set is always at 155. Now we're going to start the roaster by pressing the escape button and the start button. When it heats up to uh, 155, it'll tell me to put my beans in. how far the temperature goes down before it stops. I would assume it's going to probably go down about 105 again. We'll see. Okay, it's going up at 453.20. So, start it up at 453.20. And yes, 110 was the number. The lowest it got. So this is going to go up a little bit faster, I think. Okay, I want to log the temp in a yellow can at 155 degrees at 458. Now, there you have the beans right now at 459. Looks pretty good. Check it out. Oh, I hear the crack in too. 502. Okay, all this are off. 50237. And first crack. Crack was 188 degrees at 50220. Show you just how much they will darken up at the end. Here, here is what they look like right now. The elements are off. The fan blower is not on yet. And it's still cracking too. And it is 50333. Because 204 degrees is about 399.20, and you really need to 
to grow up to a 400 at least or a little bit more and some are better not roasted that much. There you can see my setup quite nicely. I love it. And yes, we have a fire extinguisher right there. My husband is an ex-firefighter and of course he wants his fire extinguishers and I hope I never have to use it. Well, it's going to signal me pretty soon so I'm going to show you what they look like right now before we have to uh, dump them. right now, but when I turn the light, you'll see much better. Oh, much better. Oh, they're beautiful beans. Gorgeous beans. Let's see, it's at a 133 right now, and I think it's going to tell me in just a minute to dump them. There it goes. So let's dump the beans out. There they are. Beautiful beans. A little bit of ash too we've got. And now I gotta start it just a little bit to get the rest out. Graininess that you see when there is no light shining on them. It's amazing. Thank you for visiting here, and I have certainly enjoyed demonstrating how I roast in my soul roaster. Hope to see you soon and come back and visit bluehellheaven.com. The next thing we want to do is measure our beans or, or weigh our beans out to see how many we got. I, with the Pacamara, let me see, I had four pounds exactly. I did a little lower, normally I do 4.4. That is the suggested um, weight of the green beans when you're roasting. So let's get this on here and adjust it. So it's centered right, wait for it to come up because we don't want the, the bowl, bowl's weight. So let's dump this here in here and see how many beans we have. Let's see here. I can go outside afterwards. And I have three, six, two. Boy, they are nice beans too. Excellent beans. So, let me show you what they look like. They're beautiful beans. They're perfect. A little 
close, but this is what the bean looks like. This is the Pacamara bean, and we had 3.62 pounds. There is kind of a lighter roast a little bit. It's our pea berry, and you can notice the difference with the beans. And I'm going to put some on a white towel, and you'll be able to see the difference. Now this is our Pacamara bean. You can see that it's quite large. And most of them are similar to size. And this one here is our pea berry. And a pea berry bean is actually two beans that grew together. And that's how they were picked. Yeah, you'll notice a little bit of white in the crack there. But these are well done, they're, fine. they're just fine, and they're better off. The flavor is much better when you have more of the bean flavor rather than the roast flavor. But Pacamara has to be one of the favorite coffees, and it's very difficult to find good coffee like this. But it's a popular one here at BlueRollHeaven.com. So now we're going to bag, or we're going to label our bean or bag first. And I've got my own little label here that I use. We will have a coffee at the Black Hills. And we're going to put on a label that is the name of the coffee. And these are the the Pacamara, and it's called Benevolence the Creation. It's an El Salvador Pacamara. And there we have our label on the bag. Let's get our gloves on here. Put these away. And scoop and weigh a pound of the beans for my guests. Move the beans off here. Open up our bag this and so I set the uh, scale with the bag on it so it is all at zero and then we will scoop the Pacamara in here and bag it. We don't want to get it all over and this is a full bowl. I should have used my uh, stainless steel bowl, it's much better, and I've just dropped some, but let's see, normally about five or six of these full scoops makes a pound, let's check it, it's 109 right now, and I always put more in the bag than it needs to be. So here, as you can see, the bag is 1.09. And that is all there is to roasting and bagging coffee here at BlueWillowHeaven.com. Thank you for watching. So now we need to take off the hopper, let's up, or the uh, cap skin, and let's do this here. There's three uh, thumb screws, they call it, up here, which work just wonderful when you take your little uh, cap container out. And this always falls off the cork, which helps tremendously. And if I can get a flashlight, I'll try to show you how much chaff is in there just from two roasts. It really isn't too bad. Let's see here. 
Can you see that in there? With um, this type of, it's kind of hard to see it, I know, but um, Pacamara and Papua New Guinea don't have a lot, but if I were doing another El Salvador, I would have to change this every uh, third, third time at least with the other El Salvador. But I just dump this out and shake it and put it back. That's about it. Well, that's it.